Okay, so you have a team folder, and one of the things you might want to do is to uh, control access to that folder um, in certain ways. For instance, if I look at our current team folder here, it's the projects folder. Now, um, if we manage that folder as the cluster admin, we could see that all of these users have access, including manager one and user one. Okay? So everyone can get to the folder. And uh, if I look at user one's uh, setup here, I could see that, um, I could see that user one's home folders, uh, documents and pictures, plus the team folder that's been shared. All right? Now under the team folder, I have two other folders, one called managers, and one called users. Now if I don't want this user to see the managers folder because uh, they don't have access to it anyway or don't want them to have access to it then I have to create some permissions for the subfolders that I've created. So here I am uh, logged into another browser as the manager and if I refresh this this manager could see the managers folder and the users folder as well. So I'll go back to uh, my first browser and what I want to do is uh, manage this folder and then I see my users. I want to pull this menu down and go to folder permissions. Um, now it says here no permission was set for the folder. All team users have full access by default. Admin user always has full access. So if I modify this and start adding users and giving them permissions, then I'm going to uh, create potential conflicts from the original share. So that's not the best way to do this. So let's go um, and into the projects folder and now I'm going to look at the manager and users folder. So all of my users have that are collaborators for this folder have access. But I want the managers to have access to the managers folder and only the managers. So I can click the manager folder to manage it and <clears throat> then I can pull down this menu and go to folder permissions for this subfolder. And then when I hit that I can add a user and I'll choose uh, just the manager. I'll hit done. Now you can see I can control the level of permission that I'm giving them. I hit apply and that is done. So now I go back to the file browser. If I hit refresh, nothing changes because the cluster admin is also a manager, but they can see everything. All right. So I go right click the users and go to manage folder. And uh, then I go to pull this menu down and go to folder permissions. And on this one, I want everyone to see it. So I can start adding users and uh, I can add um, all of them but for this experiment I'm just going to do the manager and the user I already know that the cluster admin can see it so I hit done and I could see that they both have uh, equal permissions here I hit apply okay so now I go back here and I hit refresh and of course everything looks the same now if I go here and I hit refresh where the manager is everything looks the same the manager can get in there and the manager can get in there. Now if I go to the user and I hit refresh and I hit the managers folder now I get this unable to list folder access denied and then I go to my users folder and I can see what's in there. But it <clears throat> might be better if I couldn't even see that folder, right? So um, what I want to do is go back over here and then go to my dashboard and then go to uh, Acme and here I'm going to go into group policy folder and storage and folder and storage and I'm going to say don't show folder that user doesn't have read permission and I'll check that and hit save and now when I go back over here to this user and I hit refresh that manager folder vanishes from view 
So since this user doesn't have access to that folder, I don't want them to click it and, and get an error message. Uh, that could just be confusing. It would be better to hide that folder if they don't have permission. And that's what this group policy uh, does. And you can find it by going to group policy for the tenant and going under folder and storage and choosing folder and storage. And you'll see this setting here. Don't show folder that user doesn't have read permission. Be sure and save it there and then all of your users that aren't, that haven't been given explicit permissions to that folder will not be able to see the folder. Okay, so I hope that was helpful and uh, you have a great day. Bye-bye.